In the next uh, part of the exercise, we have to match whether there is a Q, a lowercase Q, or an uppercase uh, Q. So let's get get back to the script. I have uh, removed uh, most of the entries here to make it uh, easier to read. So if you want to match either lowercase Q or uppercase Q, then the best thing is to use a, a character class, or one of the solutions is uh, to use a character class where has which has both lowercase and uppercase Q. So it has a Q or a capital Q. Uh, that's uh, what we have. And uh, I added here a chomp earlier because I was need I needed uh, it for uh, some uh, debugging. And uh, so there I add a new line here at the end. Now if we switch to the console and I clear it out, I can run the script and it prints out the words that the lines that has either lowercase q or an uppercase q. If we switch back and uh, check out, none of the others have a q, so it, it has one, two, three, four, this doesn't have a q, uh, five, and none of the others has. So if we check it again, those five have been printed here. The next exercise uh, calls for uh, starts with a lowercase q or uppercase q. Well, this is pretty uh, easy after we did, did it for with the f other example. We just have to put a caret at the beginning and it will say that from the beginning there is either lowercase or uppercase q. If I go switch to this window and run uh, the script it will match really the, the ones that has Q in it, so one of these, but only those two that start with a Q. The next ex uh, part uh, needs a star in it. Now you know the star is a quantifier in um, Perl, so it, it needs a special treatment. So let's start with uh, what if we put here a star, just as if what we were trying to match a Q, so it has a star in it. And if we have a star, if we run this, then we get this error message, quantifier follows nothing in regex. So, and it's marked here, so it's just right at the, where is the, where the star is. And that's because the, the star can't stand on its own, so we, we need to escape it, put a backslash in front of it, that will tell the regular expression that this star is just a, just a regular star, it has no special meaning. And if I run as the script, then uh, it printed out this line, the one with a star in it. And uh, just uh, to make sure, uh, if you look at the file, that you can see that the only place where there is a star is uh, this row. Now, in the next exercise, we need to check whether there is uh, it has both A and E. Now, because it needs two truces, uh, in this case, using one single regular expression would be possible, but very complex and not worth the, the effort. In this case, it's much better to use one, two regular expressions and uh, connect them with a Boolean expression. So I would write here that it has an A, an A, and that dollar line also has an E in it. So, and I just change it has A and E in it. And um, look at the file, I added, so there is uh, this line, just, just an E, just an A, just an E, uh, A and an E and uh, E, A, so both, and one single, so there are two strings with, with both, and then at the end I added two strings that has just these two letters, and I'm making sure that n the order doesn't rather matter. So if you run the script now, it prints out exactly those four lines, the two, li two long ones and these two that are added for, uh, for testing purposes. The next one is has an E and somewhere later an E. So this would uh, be out of these four, 
but only the ones that uh, again first has an A and then an E so it has an A and then an E so th this one needs to be merged and A and an E and this has an A and here it has an E as well so the first three should be matched in our ca in this case uh, let's see the script uh, the regular expression so we could use the same uh, but it would ma it would match both uh, directions doesn't matter what we are actually ta saying is that it has an a and then it can have lots of things anything actually there so dot means anything star means any time and then an e and then this part is not needed so if I save this now and run the script that's it so you see that this one where the E comes first is not printed now but the other three is so let's stop at this point and the, the rest of the exercises will be done in the next video